I can't quite believe this is happening, but I'm actually off to Serbia now. Basically, the story is, I met this guy called Kiki Lysendrik last year when I was DJing in Zanzi. He is now a judge on Serbian X Factor and has invited me over to do his judges' houses, which is ridiculous. Um, we haven't really had much information about it at all, like only one or two emails. So, I mean, they're quite worried about it in there, but I'm quite optimistic. I, I think it's going to go very well. hasn't gone that well so far. Um, one of the people I'm travelling with, his bag has been lost. Um, it just didn't come out of the carousel at the airport. Uh, then Louisa, who I'm also travelling with, um, got a thousand dinars out at the airport. And that's seven pounds. <laughs> um, <laughs> and also the, uh, the, the way of getting into your hotel room isn't that easy. It's finger recognition. Doesn't really work. Oh, and also, what well, our passports have been confiscated. Just haven't still got those. But we're now off to meet Kiki, so hopefully things will go a little bit better than it has already. <laughs> we were told to meet Kiki in a restaurant, which turned out to be underneath a dark car park next to a large building site. Kiki had found us a quiet corner of the restaurant where we wouldn't be interrupted by any of his fans. After dinner, we were joined by the X Factor production team, who were very keen for us to experience a night out in Belgrade city centre, which was located on the other side of a railway line. The locals wouldn't let us film inside the clubs, which is probably for the best, and at 3am we decided to call it a night. Serbian folk music going on there in the background. We didn't go there, sadly. So that's the end of the night. Uh, first night in Belgrade. Um, we've left the production team drinking a lot of vodka. Um, but they'll be fresh as a daisy at nine o'clock. You know that because this is what they do. Um, we're off home to bed. It's a beautiful day here in Belgrade and we're about to go and film X Factor Judges Houses at a villa on the outskirts of Belgrade. I left the club at 3 o'clock in the morning so I feel kind of fresh. However, the executive producer, who is my favourite, she's known for getting two hours sleep a night. So I think she might have just pushed on through to the morning. So let's go and see. I can't wait to see what kind of mood she's in. This is the first ever series of X Factor for Serbia and I was there to film the Judges Houses stage with Kiki who was mentoring the girls category. I soon discovered that TV regulations in Serbia are not quite as strict as they are in the UK. First stop, the makeup room, where the Serbian makeup artists had a tough job on their hands after the night we'd both had. So Kiki, how long have we got now before we do our thing? No one knows. After that, I was shown to a bedroom where I could base myself for the day. Although as soon as I sat down, I was told a film crew was on its way to film me in bed. Scott, can you just look at me and say what's about to happen? Come in. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Scott. Hi. Hi. Hello. Sir, hey, Kiki. Hello. Hello. Do you like my room? It's yeah. very classy. Very it's classy. Very stylish. Do you like what I've done with the decorations? My interviewer was a brand new presenter called Una Senic, the host of Serbia's version of The Extra Factor. She was clearly ambitious and very interested about how I'd got my job. So Scott, now I'm going to use you to tell me something about uh, business you're in, like okay. a presenter. Mm -hmm. You have agent. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you get your agent? Was it before you started working as a X Factor presenter or after? Um, I, I, I... Do I need an agent? Yes. yes the, the, Absolutely. You be you DJs all the first, time. Husband first. Husband, husband first. first. <laughs> I have a husband. It was an awkward interview for many reasons. Una clearly thought that I was the host of the UK X Factor and I missed my opportunity to correct her, which I quickly started to regret when she asked me to take part in a quite intimate photo shoot. We were also joined by a presenter from one of the local radio stations and a runner whose hands were shaking a little in the presence of such a famous lineup of celebrities. In fact, she was a bit shaky all round. It's 
camera, huh? It's camera. No. <laughs> And finally, she took the picture. I'm about to make my first appearance. So yeah. Hmm, not as much cheering as I'd hoped. Also, having had no direction on how this scene was supposed to go, I had to make up what I was saying on the spot and panicked. <laughs> Um, it went quite well. I managed to tell them that maybe I would play their song in the UK. If it's good, I might. So this is Kiki's judge's house. Uh, some guitars. So far, this is where we sit. And this is where they perform, just right here. It's quite nice, isn't it? It reminds me of Cheryl Cole's house like, that year. Do you remember? When she sent home Gamu. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to snoop around for as long as I'd have liked as Kiki and I were called outside for an interview with Serbian TV. While Kiki was being interviewed, we had our first experience of Bane Jeftik, the programme's main host, Serbia's answer to Derm O'Leary. Bane was clearly a born performer. A little later on, during a short break in filming, he decided to entertain the crew. Wrong job. Finally, it was time to hear the contestants perform. The show doesn't go out in Serbia until December, so we agreed not to film this part to keep the surprise. But we can show you me getting down to some serious judging. Okay, so we have now made our decision. Uh, I'm feeling really awkward about it because the girls are just sat over there. We can't film them, we give the game away. Uh, but I'm feeling really awkward about this because we're talking about who's through and who's not. It's kind of life-changing and they're just sat a few feet away from us. <laughs> I'm, I'm finding this a problem. You're not bothered? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, well my bit's done now, but um, I just want to show you around before they announce to the girls who's going through. This is a Serbian from Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. How, How are you? Too. That is Serbian. Ooh. And that is Serbian Caroline Flack, everybody. Hi. She's playing Candy Crush. Hi. <laughs> 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 Are you okay? So you do the extra factor? Yes. Okay, so you're going to be on after the main show? Yes. Uh, tell us how you got the job, something about a pole. I was dancing in a club, but before that, actually, I... She then told us a lengthy anecdote, which I can't say I fully understood, but involved a nightclub, a lot of dancing, and Una pouring beer over herself. Finally, I got a chance to talk to my favourite member of the whole team. That creates this whole... Show she survives on how many hours sleep a night? Um, four. Four hours sleep two, a night. Two, 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 two to four. Two to four. So how do you do it? Uh, I drink special kind of tequila uh, and I don't have makeup. <laughs> what do you mean special kind of tequila? Um, well, actually, I don't drink. I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes this was just last night. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the club last night. They just carried on, and now today. Looking fresh, looking great. Oh, oh well, no, I'll look. see that later. <laughs> You've done a 12 hour day after two yeah. hours sleep. We, and have you... two, we had two more hours yeah. because Kiki has to decide a few more things tonight yeah. and it's it's going to be like 13, 13 hours, maybe 14, 14. You've got time to sleep. Yeah, there's no time to sleep. For now, for now, I hope it's changed. <laughs> I'm not the youngest person. <laughs> Well, you've done a great job here today. Yeah, thank so. you. And thank you, you for like inviting it? me. I absolutely had a you great time. You were great. Really? Such a, I was amazed. I was watching you with, with, with Kiki. Mm. I was amazed. I was like, look, British professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been great, so thanks so much for having me Thank you. After 14 hours on set, I was exhausted, but actually quite sad to be leaving these amazing people behind. That is us done. Uh, filming X Factor. I need to let into a little secret. Um, this actually isn't Kiki's house, a bit like on our one. Um, it's not his own house. Um, 
He's some guy who's from Serbia, but now he's in Russia. And every time you ask why, everyone just goes quiet. But it's a lovely house, and he's got a lovely lift, which I've been too scared to get into from now, because you have to walk across this bit. I don't like it. Okay, bye.